Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Your kingdom come. first message Jesus preached after he was baptized was repent for the kingdom of God is at hand the kingdom of God there are so many times where Jesus speaking to the people he's referring to the kingdom of God the kingdom of God the kingdom the kingdom he clearly wants them to understand what the kingdom of God is so that they can be transformed by the kingdom of God and this is in the prayer. Jesus is teaching his disciples how to pray. And in this prayer, he says that they should say and pray, let your kingdom come. God's kingdom come. This was his prayer. The kingdom of God is, is his ruling. Wherever God rules. We know that kings and queens, they rule over people and places. And throughout history, we've seen when the kingdoms go and invade other countries and they import their values, their ruling, their way of lives into that place. You see, the kingdom of God is not just a place, but wherever God rules. And that can be in you, a person, in the church, in our homes, in our schools, in our government. God can rule in those places. And I believe that God wants to break into our hearts and rule in our lives. He wants to rule in all of these places. He wants to be Lord, the one true King that is worshipped. He wants to see a people that worship the King of Kings and live under His ruling. This is what the Kingdom of God looks like and can look like today. But there's something we need to know about this Kingdom. It's a Kingdom with a good king. Just like in the beginning, Jesus mentions our father, who is a good father. In this kingdom, is ruled by a good king. This king can be trusted. This king loves people. This king is our father. This king brings justice to the world. This king has an everlasting kingdom. His kingdom will continue and continue and continue. We are yet to see the full kingdom of God in our world. We hope to see that day where we see God's kingdom in its, in its fullness. But the kingdom of God is here and now and can rule in you. The kingdom of God is here when we choose to make Jesus our Lord. The kingdom of God is here when we choose to make Jesus Lord of our churches. When we choose to make Jesus Lord of our homes, Lord of our governments, his kingdom breaks in and it changes. There are many times where we want to be the Lord and kings of our lives, of our churches, of our homes, of our government, of our people. And we always know this doesn't always end well. We need a one true ruler, the one true ruler, the king of kings. We need him because we are bad rulers. As human beings, we've shown time after time, we are bad rulers. We can be bad rulers. But there is a king who is good and his kingdom is everlasting. Whether we choose him or not, his kingdom still stands. But God wants us to be part of his kingdom. He wants to extend his kingdom on earth. Let's allow God to do this. Let's allow God to rule in our lives and in different areas by making him Lord. He's extending his kingdom and this is the heart of the prayer let your kingdom come your ruling your way of life your way of thinking your justice your let all of who god is rule in our world rule in our hearts and this is such a big prayer this is a prayer we need to continue to pray because we haven't yet seen it in its full sense and we're working towards that we're, we're coming to that day and we hope to see that day we as a church need to continue to pray God 
ruling my life. God ruling Selsden Baptist Church. You let you be king. God ruling our homes, in our workplaces, in our government. Can you imagine the day where God is fully ruling in our world, where people are, are committed to him, where people are under his ruling? This world will certainly be perfect. This world will certainly be good because it's ruled by a good king. Let's pray together. King of kings and Lord of lords, we thank you, Lord, because you are a good king. We thank you, Lord, that you are a king and you are a savior. You are our father. And God, we thank you for your kingdom, your kingdom that was before this world, this kingdom that was before all of us, this kingdom that is everlasting, this kingdom that is powerful, Lord. And we want to ask you now, Lord, let your kingdom come in our lives, Jesus, as individuals. Let your kingdom come in our churches, God. Lord, that you will be the king that we truly worship, not ourselves. Let your kingdom come in our schools, God. Let your kingdom come in our government, Lord. We have leaders who are in this world, Lord God. But we pray that you be the ultimate leader who will rule. Let your kingdom come in our world. Thank you, God, that even though our kingdom and our, our rulers sometimes fell, our earthly rulers sometimes fell, we have a king and a kingdom that never fell, that is everlasting. So God, I pray, Lord, you will stir this in our hearts, that we will continue to pray and seek to see your kingdom being expressed and established in our world today. We thank you, Lord, that you are a loving king. We thank you that you are a king that, that, that is fair, a king that will bring justice. Thank you, Lord, that we know this king, that we can be part of this king. Let your kingdom come. In your name I pray. Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen.